Hey everybody, I'm going to weigh in on a couple of issues that have sprung up in the last week or so and try to unpack a little bit about why people are dumping on the OSR uh, lately. Today on Greyhawk Rock Nart. Okay, so recently it came to light that in a new uh, Wizards of the Coast D&D book, um, Wilds Beyond the Fey, uh, uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, that's it, um, there is a character called Thacko the Clown who's mean and guards the gate, guards the door. Um, he's, he's grim and humorless and hates children and so forth. And for most people, this joke is going to go over their heads because they don't know what Thacko is. Uh, Thacko is a way of doing combat uh, that was first brought about in 1st edition AD&D and was really then brought to the fore in 2nd edition uh, AD&D. It's kind of synonymous with 2nd edition. 2nd edition means Thacko. <clears throat> it's just a way of doing combat without tables, that's all. It's a it, it's a number system. And it's easy to pick up if you're going to use it. It's not, you know, nothing nothing wild about it. Um, but for whatever reason, Wizards of the Coast saw fit to use that as the butt of a joke in their new product. And a lot of people on the OSR side are naturally a little offended by it because uh, it really seems like they're being targeted as being gatekeepers and old fogies who don't like the young people and so forth and it seems like Wizards of the Coast is deliberately poking uh, OSR and older gamers with a stick um, just for the sake of doing so and um, you know there's a little bit of truth to that honestly uh, I can I can see that I can see why uh, OSR gamers uh, found that a little distasteful. I mean, I did. Um, I thought it was a little gratuitous. Um, as to why, though, uh, it that remains a puzzler because, um, I mean, it's not just, you know, it's not like the OSR is a threat to anybody because the OSRs are relatively small. There are millions and millions of people playing 5th edition D&D right now. There are not million, <laughs> millions and millions of people playing OSR games. I can guarantee it. Um, as an OSR publisher, I can tell you, if I was publishing 5th edition stuff, I would be making a lot more money. Um, but for some reason, some people do feel threatened by the mere fact that other people are doing things that they that the different other that other people like other things than they do it makes them feel uncomfortable it makes them feel insecure uh, you know it's like hey what's why aren't you playing fifth edition what's wrong with that what's wrong you think something's wrong with me because I'm playing fifth edition that's the mindset that that kind of wraps up with some people not all people obviously but some people um, and there's a there's also a natural in inclination uh, in some people who just want to punch down um, you know hey you know we you know fifth edition we won and um, you know and you, you you stupid little OSR folks over there well we're just gonna show you how insignificant you are because we're gonna you know be able to we because we can we can make fun of you in our products um, it's a little tasteless uh, it really smacks of the castle Greyhawk module that came out after Gary left TSR uh, which was basically a big they, they published an entire module to mock him um, and it just you know obviously this, this is a very different scale it's a single character in a, in a book but um, you know the fact that they felt that it was okay to make fun of people who play the game they just happen to play a different version of the game um, I, I don't know I think it's uh, it, it's a little tasteless it's uh, gratuitous certainly and um, honestly it uh, I, I, I wish they hadn't done it because it really does seem like they're just being petty at this point okay and the other thing that um, that has come up recently there's a guy who has a channel I'm not gonna link to it you can find it if you really care I'm not the only person talking about this um, but he's posted a series of really bizarre videos that really he, he just hates the OSR and he never really says why um, in one video he says that anybody who's playing anything other than fifth edition D&D &D is actively hurting society um, how 
don't know. Um, uh, and and he's like, because Critical Role made nine million dollars, everybody should be doing D and D fifth edition because that's that's important and significant, and nothing else is. And then in another video, he's like, anybody in the OSR, all the people in the OSR should move over to 5th edition, and that'll make 5th edition bigger than video games and board games, because D&D should be bigger than both. No, it, no, it won't. That's not ever going to happen. <laughs> the OSR has a couple of thousand people. It's, it, you could put us all together with all the 5th edition people, and we wouldn't make a difference. Um, he had said that uh, buying anything other than Wizards of the Coast 5th edition books costs jobs, which is just a bizarre inversion of the truth, because I guarantee you there are a lot more small publishers publishing... F uh, OSR type stuff and hiring in the process they're hiring writers and editors and artists and layout people and all you know all the rest um, and if everybody was playing fifth edition D&D then Wizards of the Coast would publish exactly as many books and hire exactly as many people so that nothing would change so it's actually the opposite um, it, it, you really get the feeling that he's got some other ulterior motive for disliking the OSR and he's just afraid to say it um, but you know who, who can say? But uh, it does seem to be that there is a pattern of people are feeling anxious about the OSR. Uh, on the you know people who don't like the OSR are are starting to feel um, either anxious about it or maybe emboldened is the is the right word. It's like um, okay now you know we've won now we can push other people around. Um, I don't know really why they would be coming out of the woodwork like this. All of a sudden, maybe it's a coincidence that there's a couple of things that are OSR bashing uh, all coming out at once. I, you know, it's impossible to say, um, but something's in the air definitely. And for my money, it means that I'm doing something right because um, I'm I play the games and I write the games that I like. And I like fifth edition, but I also like first edition, and I'm going to keep doing it. Um, Anyway, let me hear your thoughts down in the comments. I know this is a hot button issue for a couple of people. Um, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Thacko the Clown thing and this other clown that uh, that <laughs> posted the other videos. Um, anyway, have a great day, and I will talk to you later.